As the cooler months have set in, it's the perfect time to cook up some big batches of warming and budget-friendly soup. So let's head to the Beko Kitchen, where, Mark, I'm a very big fan of what you're going to be doing today. Well, we're going to do soup week, so mm -hmm. I'm going to make different soups all week, and I'm going to show you how versatile um, different soups are. And we're going to kick it off with the classic pumpkin soup. So we've got beautiful butternut pumpkins, so yes. they're in season now, really cheap. And then we just uh, spiced it up a little bit. We've got ginger in there. We're going to put a little bit of chili in there, kaffir lime, and finish it with some coconut cream. So a little bit of a, a Thai sort of Asian uh, twist mm. on it. Nice. Absolutely beautiful. And a good time of the year to be doing this because you can save it up and just keep it in the fridge and use it, use it over and over again. So we'll show you how to do this very soon. We are here in the Beko kitchen for the start of our soup week. I love soup. So underrated. And I'll tell you what, with Mark here, they are going to taste absolutely delicious. So, what do you love about a good soup, Mark? Well, it's got to be tasty. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you've got to have the nice thickness to yes. it, and it's got to be tasty, and you've got to enjoy it. You know, because you've got a whole bowl of it, so you, you know, you're eating the same thing over and over again. So it needs to like excite you all the time. That you is know? a very good point. Okay, so make your soup exciting, and that's what we're about to do. Okay, exciting and tasty. Pumpkin and, th and ginger. Yeah, that's it. So we've got the classic pumpkin soup, but we've, uh, we've, you know, we've turned it on its head now. We've added some more ingredients in there. So we've got ginger in there, a little bit of Thai flavours as well, chilli, kaffir lime. Yum. Beautiful um, uh, partnership with their uh, pumpkin. Yes. This goes really well. Okay. Uh, a few onions in there. And another sort of left field ingredient, mm. maple syrup. Wow, okay. Mm. So something a little soup. bit, yeah, something a little bit different, you know. I knew you'd raise the bar mm, on pumpkin yeah. soup, Mark. Good That's work. what we call chefified. Chefified. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So we're going to get on to uh, the soup now. So we're yes. just going to use an onion for base. Yep. Um, you know. It's nice, just gives it an extra flavour to the soup. You don't always need to put sort of onion in there if you don't mm -hmm. want to. Um, it's quite nice in this one. I'm just standing so back a little. Do. I don't want to get fat splatters on my new Hallenstein Brothers shirt. Oh. So. <laughs> Can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> true. <laughs> That's right, what so they invented aprons, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> true, yeah. So, kaffir lime leaves. So these are quite tough, robust. So you don't want to... Um, you know, I mean, you can eat these if you chop them up really fine, right? Okay. But we're going to leave them in nice big chunks and we're just going to crunch them up and just tear them into chunks. Put them in because it's just going to release this fantastic flavour. Okay, so chop okay. up, chunk yeah, them up a bit. Yeah. Tear, them, gonna, tear them up. Yeah, and we're going to take that out before we blend the whole soup. Okay, don't right. leave it in. Yeah, so a little bit of heat in here now. So we'll get, a, get some chilli in. So nice. another combination as well, pumpkin, chilli, ginger, you know, it all works really well. Right, some ginger. Mm. Good. So just going to slice it, you know, you don't have to be too finicky now at the moment because we're making soup, we're going to blend it. Okay. You know, so we're just getting all those flavours in there. But you want a consistency to the size you're chopping everything just so it well, cooks evenly, doesn't it? Well, you know, it? I mean, just roughly chopping it and just throwing it in. Right, we've got a, we've got a button up pumpkin here. Good. So just cut it in half, um, you know, just do whatever you're going to do just to make it easier to peel, but use a knife to peel it because it's pretty tough, the skin, so... So just, just gonna, create a flat surface. So yeah, you've a got flat surface, easy and then you cut. can. <laughs> I've totally done this wrong now. <laughs> just made <laughs> made more work for myself. Um, but you know, however, however it works. And then what you want to do now is is you know now it's a good idea to sort of you know roughly get it in the sort of same um, dimensions. Uh, so the pumpkin cooks sort of together, and it'll all break down. Okay, so we're just going to cut that up, and then. We're going to pop it in now. Okay. You're so happy? if you've got a little bit, a little bit more time at home, you know, cook this stage probably another ten minutes and really get all those flavours out. Okay. But we're just going to put the pumpkin in now, and then that's just going to start cooking down. And we want to, um, we want to cook it all in the pan, and you almost want to get that pumpkin to sort of break down and, and almost start mushing up. Okay. And it's not going to matter that it starts breaking down because we're going to no, no, blend no. it all. Soon, no, exactly, anyway. exactly. So, so, yeah. At the end of the day, everything's getting blended. Nice work. Um, and then it's gonna it's gonna go in there, and we've got a few stocks. I'm gonna add yep. these in the the second stage. Okay, cool. You need to tell us through when exactly you add them, because I'll end up ruining my soup by putting it in too early. <laughs> so we'll get the tips on that very soon. I'll leave you to cut the pumpkin, and we'll come back and see stage two of this. It smells incredible at the moment. This pumpkin and ginger soup. We've got a pretty healthy soup here, and it is smelling delicious, Mark. <laughs> that was a great segment for the uh, butter, which I'm just oh, yeah. to add. <laughs> True. <laughs> hey, everything in moderation. Yeah, exactly. What we so, say? Yes. So, you, so you can see this now. It's starting to, it's starting down. to break down. Yeah, the pumpkin's yep. breaking down. You can smell all those flavours. Mm. Just going to add a little bit of butter there. It's just going to help us, um, you know, just coat cool. everything. Give us a little bit of richness. You don't want to add too much butter. And now for some maple syrup. So just a couple of spoons in there, and you just want to cook that out. So 
about five minutes or so, just sort of get it sort of so it's reducing, caramelising around everything and just really getting that sweetness into the pumpkin. That is such a nice addition to the pumpkin soup. And wait until you try it at the end, oh. it's going to be beautiful. It just brings out that sort of sweetness. Right, and then a bit mm -hmm. of chicken stock. Yep. You know, if you want to keep this completely vegetarian, use a veg stock, that's fine. Okay. Um, just a little bit and we're going to add the stock first. You want to yes. bring that to the boil and you want to start cooking it. So you want to reduce that down slightly. Okay. Probably by about, by about half. The pumpkin will be really soft. And then we've got some coconut cream as well. Oh, okay, cool. So don't put gonna... that in too fast. No, no. Cook, uh, cook down, down with the stock. Yep. Yeah. And then finish it with the coconut cream. And then you get this beautiful um, creamy coconut flavour. Mm, beautiful. Right. And then what I'm going to do now is I've got it all weighed out for the recipe. But I'm just going to take a couple of spoons out. And then this is going to be a little bit of a garnish for later on. Oh, so it looks pretty. Yeah, so yeah. it looks pretty. So it's all about that. So imagine that's down. Okay. Put the coconut milk down. in. Yep. Bring it again. Boil it. Make sure everything's really soft. Give it a good season. And then all you've got to do is just really blend it. Just be careful because the soup's going to be hot. And then another little garnish. I've got a pan on here. Just melt a little bit of butter. And we've got pumpkin seeds as well. Nice. So you've got the pumpkin seeds here. And we're just going to lightly toast them. A little pinch of salt. Pop them in, get them nice and toasted. We've got that as a garnish. We've got a coconut as a garnish. A little bit of coriander. We'll just tell Jesse it's parsley. Yeah, true. And uh, if you want a little bit more chilli, you can sprinkle over the top, and that is it. Absolutely it's great. Really fresh, brilliant. Fresh, tasty uh, yeah. soup. I yeah. love it too. Great texture too with the pumpkin seeds toasted. It's going to be delicious. Of course, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Welcome to the start of Soup Week, everybody. That looks amazing. Look at that. it's great, huh? Yeah, it's really colourful too. Yeah.